and welcome to the final lesson of our Did You Know series. And did you know that a month could go by so fast? In this month we have reviewed some amazing aspects of Jesus' life including his death and resurrection. And today we will look at one more but first we must do our phrase craze. Yes, our phrase craze learned our new phrase for this week. We have our contestants returning from last week, so let's meet them now. And here are our con returning contestants once again. Yes, back from last week, it was a close match, it was a close round, but um, our boys are back because the girls were able to take the competition last week. And here we have Eli returning once again uh, to represent the boys team. We also have Noah here to represent the boys. And I are on our girls' side, our returning champions from last week, we have Natalia here once again. Yes, she's taking a break from her gardening uh, business to be with us once again. And we also have Miss Layla, who is on here, and uh, she has an amazing aviation business that she is running on the side of her competition life. So we're glad she's here to join us. All right, so today we have another phrase craze that we are going to do. And this is going to be our last phrase craze, and we will declare a winner between the boys and the girls in our phrase craze challenge. So we're going to bring our phrase craze and put it on the screen right now. And there we have it, another phrase that we are ready to guess. The same rules apply, you'll guess a letter. And when you guess a letter, it'll come up on the screen. When you think you know the entire phrase, you put two hands in the air and then will become the phrase phrase champion who will it be the boys or the girls it's time to find out all right we'll start with our girls this week we started with our boys last week but this week we'll start with our girls layla you can guess the first letter a right, do we have any a's on the board we have two a's very good start all right now going to noah please guess a letter E. Yes, E. Is there any E's? There are a good number of E's. All right, very good guess. All right, now going to you, Natalia. Please guess the letter. T. Do we have any T's? Oh, we got four T's. Very good. All right, very nice. All right, we got some T's on the board. All right, now uh, going to you, Eli. Please guess the I. I for, of course, Mr. Isaiah, yours truly. Do we have any eyes? We have one eye. I see one eye on the board. All right. Now we're going to you, Natalia. Or, sorry, Layla. We're going to Layla. S. Do we have any S's on the board? Oh, we've got five S's. Yes, very good. All right. Yes for the S. All right. Now, Noah, it is back to you. J. Is it J? Yes. Do we have any J's on the board? All right, we have one J. I wonder what that J could be for. I guess we'll figure it out soon enough. All right, now I'm going to you, Natalia. R. R, do we have any R's? All right, couple of bars. You're making some progress here now. All right, Eli, it is to you. 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 Not me, but you. Yes. Let's see if we have any you. Oh, look at all those U's on the board. Very good guess. All right, the boys are making some very good guesses. We are getting some words figured out here. Now, if you guys are thinking about what this phrase could be. Think about what this phrase could possibly be. Put two hands in the air if you think you know what it is. All right, let's do one. Oh, we think we have a guess already. All right, Natalia thinks she has it. Let's see if she can take it for the win. You, you can trust Jesus because he is truthful. And there you have it, folks. The girls have won the competition. Let's hear it for the girls. Yes, they've done an amazing guess. Yes, you can trust Jesus because he is peaceful. 
very good, very good competition. Very good job to the girls team. Now, let's go to Carl and let's see their competition between Jada and Sam. Let's see who will take it between that man and that lady. Let's go to Carl. Well, look at who decided to show up. I've been waiting for y'all. Golly gee whiz, y'all. <laughs> I want to play a game. You ready? Then let's play Did You Know? <laughs> Now, I have had a wonderful month hosting this game show. We laughed, we cried, and I giggled so hard I had a Dorito shoot out of my nose. It has been a blast, but this is our final episode of the game show. This means our contestants, Jada and Sam, have to battle it out. One more round and we will crown a winner. And that will also decide who wins the 100 foot tall chocolate bunny. Y'all ready to get started? That's what I like to hear. Let's give a big round of applause for Jada and Sam. Hey, guys and girls. Now, Jada and Sam, this final round will be a little different. We have three pictures, and it's up to you to decide what is going on in those pictures. First person to find out what is wrong in the pictures gets 100 points. Jada is at 700 points, and Sam is just behind her with 600 points. Now, are you ready? So ready. I've never been more ready. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's begin. Did you know? In this picture, there is something out of place. Take a good hard look. Looks like just a bunch of sheep. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I can't see anything. I see it. The dog in the middle. Great job, Sam. Good eye. That brings us to a tie. How are you feeling, Jada? Well, I'm not scared if that's what you mean. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see picture number two. Now looky here. Just a picture of a ton of little stuffed puppies. Hmm. I can't see it. Me either. Are you sure there's something wrong in this picture? Trust me, there is. Oh, oh, there it is. Another dog right there. Look. Great job, Jada! You pull ahead once again. All right, here's the last picture of the last round. This decides it all. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! All righty, here we go. This one might be a little tough, so I'll give you some time. Hmm. Anything yet? Still can't get it? Nope, nothing. Now, I may be wrong, but I see all of those penguins, right? Yeah. Is that a polar bear in the middle just wearing a penguin mask? Um, let me see. Ah, yes, that is correct. Sam, congratulations. You just won another hundred points. All right. Man, Carl, that was a lot of fun. Wait. If that was the last question and I just got a hundred more points, that means Jada and I tie? Yep. So that means we get to split the 100 foot chocolate bunny? Nope. What? What's gonna happen to it then? To be fair, I'll take the bunny back to my place so I can eat it myself. No way, that's not fair. Yeah, we worked hard for that prize, Carl. You gotta give us at least a little bit. All right, fine. You guys can have your share. Mmm, you sure, Carl? Of course, what? Do you not trust me? I do, but I don't, if that makes sense. Oh, come on, Jada, you gotta trust me. <sighs> okay, I do, I'm sorry. I just have a hard time trusting anyone. Can I ask you a question? Do you think you trust Jesus? Well, of course, I'd be a fool if I didn't, right? Okay, I was just wondering, because I struggle with trust sometimes too. I think everyone does every now and then. Ain't that the truth. Wait, was there anyone during Jesus' time that didn't trust? Are you kidding? All the time. Even before Jesus was born, people lacked trust. From Moses, to David, to Jonah, and to Paul. Even the disciples who were with Jesus all the time doubted that he even rose from the grave. Wait, the disciples had a hard time trusting Jesus? Big time. 
I mean, even though Jesus told them everything that was going to happen, they still couldn't believe it. But when Jesus showed up and they saw him for their very own eyes, everything changed. Really? What changed? Their whole life. Think about it. Jesus had claimed to be God's son. He told them that if they believed in him, that they could have all of their sins taken away. He promised that he would never leave them and that they could live in heaven with him one day. And now that he was alive and had risen from the dead, that meant Jesus was telling the truth. Wow, I guess you're right. I just thought, never mind. Oh, come on, Carl. What were you going to say? Well, I don't want to be a Donald Downer right now, but I can't see Jesus with my own eyes like the disciples did. Well, sure. But what's your question? I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, how can I trust Jesus if I can't see him? That's a great question, Carl. It can be really tough trusting someone you've never met. Exactly. But the thing is, Jesus knows us. He loves us so much that he was willing to die for us. He taught us how to live and how to talk. But just like any relationship, it takes time to build trust. And the more time you spend with God, the more you will begin to trust Jesus. So what you're saying is the more time we spend praying, reading the Bible, and talking about God, the more I'll start to trust Jesus? Oh yeah, that's all Jesus wants from us. To trust Him in every part of our life. That is great to hear. I just want to tell everyone now. Hey kids, did you know that we could trust Jesus? What was that? Well, Jada, I just said, our big idea! Heard it, kids. Our big idea today is, did you know you can trust Jesus? Let's all say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Did you know you can trust Jesus? Awesome job, everyone. And awesome job, Carl, for guessing the big idea. I did? Oh yeah, I guess I did. I want to say a big thank you to our wonderful contestants, Jada and Sam. Get up for them, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to be a man of my word, so I did take that giant chocolate bunny, cut it in half, and put them on two semi-trucks. And they're headed to y'all to enjoy your prize, Sam and Jada. Wow, thanks, Carl. You are welcome. Oh, wait a minute. Won't the chocolate be all melted by the time it gets here? Fortunately, I won't be answering any questions at this time. But I want to thank you for your time, and we'll see you next time on D. you know? So our big idea for today is, did you know we can trust Jesus? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Did you know that? Yes, I knew can. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I want to read some scripture verses today so me and Miss Patty could better understand it and so that you can better understand it. But the only thing is that Mr. Isaiah said that we have to pass the riddles first okay. before we can get to the scripture verses. Okay, that makes sense because this does not look like a scripture verse to me. So I was a little confused. Yes. Okay, so there's going to be household items in here and we have to guess what they are okay. based on the riddle description that we have here. Okay, we totally need your help. Yes. Okay, so I'll read the first one. Okay. Okay, the first one says, I am a tanning bed for food. A tanning bed for food. What does that mean? I don't know. So let's uh, so let's see. A tanning bed yeah. has lights. It does have lights. It so does have lights. So maybe a, an oven, an oven, a microwave. Well, microwave microwaves don't really things. no. It so, heats it. But yeah. I don't know. So and I the only thing I can think of is an oven. Okay. It has lights and it has like the little grate things. Yeah, and you can like roast. To yeah, and, roast things. And yeah. Toast things. Yeah. But this is way too small for an oven, unless he's being tricky and it's Ooh. like a Barbie doll oven. Like yeah, like the ones that you would make like the little things in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you make like the that's itty, what bitty, it is. itty bitty cupcakes in them. Yeah. yeah. That's the tanning bed. You ready? Yes. Okay. That's weird. That's that's funny. It's, it's a toaster. Quite, it's quite clever. I'm not gonna lie. You're right, because they do get toasted, yeah, right? It's so a it's like tanning a tanning bread. bed. For tanning bread? Tanning bread. Okay, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mr. Isaiah, that was clever. I'll give you that. Oh, here's the scripture. The scripture says, uh, Psalms 33, 4. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. 
So in this, we can see that we can trust Jesus mm -hmm. because he is always honest and he always keeps his word. Mm -hmm. So that's a good scripture to think on. Yes. All right, you ready for the second scripture? I am ready for the second one. Okay, this is, I feel like this is going to be tricky. I, okay. Yeah. I am a small bull on a stick that lifts things from a bigger bowl. Oh, wow. What do you think that is? How about one of those bowls where you put chips in and then it has like this little metal army arm thing and then it has like a small bowl on top and you put the dip in it? Yeah, but that doesn't like lift things, does it? Mm, no, it doesn't lift. It doesn't lift things. I lift when I pick up the chip and I put in the dip. <laughs> That's true. I yeah. do do that. Yes. The only thing that I can think of that like lifts things is like a... Like one of those claw, big claw, like truck things. Oh, like a like a forklift or no, oh. not a forklift, but like a you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know what they're called. I don't know, Do what, they're know what they're called, called? either. Okay, but what that's not it? like a household item. You're right, Unless but it is if you have toys. That's true. Do you think that's what it is? It could be. All right, if let's he's see. being tricky with it again. Oh, what? I don't know if that I would was consider tricky. that. That one's really tricky because I don't know if I would consider this. A bowl. Right. I mean, there's a stick on it, and it does lift things from bowls. All right. That was tricky. That the was next a good time one. we play this game, you and I should make the clues, and Mr. Isaiah should guess. That's what I'm saying. I yes. know. Okay. So the scripture verse is from Hebrews 13, 8, and it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Okay. So I actually really like that scripture verse because it's talking about how he is the same. He's not going to change. Everything that he was able to do back when they were writing the Bible and everything, everything he was able to do then, he's still able to do now. Mm -hmm. And he will be able to do it forever. And yeah. he's not going to change. He doesn't so, change. Miss Patty, did you ever like make plans with a friend? And then you get ready and you're so excited because you're really excited. Like say you're yeah. going to the aquarium. <gasps> oh, I love the aquarium. But then... They cancel <gasps> because they don't want to go anymore. Oh. Which it's like makes you really sad because A, you were really excited, yeah. and B, you thought that they would want to go with you. I, I have had that happen. Yeah. Jesus is never going to be like that. Yeah. You will never have to worry about him changing his mind and saying that he doesn't want to do something with you or that he doesn't want to be with you because he always wants to be with you and he always wants to do things with you and be a part of your life. That's true. He is mm -hmm. dependable. That's always. for sure. Yeah. All right, last one. We've done so well so far. So good. Okay, we really need your help. This yes. is the third one. Third clue is I'm a sleeping bag for cheese and meat. Okay, so if we're going on the theme of like stuff that you use in a kitchen. Yes, because that's yes. what it's been. Yes, okay. I'm going to say a Ziploc bag. Oh, okay. I because was thinking, it's a bag. what if he's being tricky now because he knows we're going to think it's a household item. What if it's like a can of ravioli? Because oh, that's kind of yeah, like tucked in. Oh, yeah, you stuff stuff in the ravioli. Yeah. Meat and cheese. Hmm. I'm hungry now. Me too. You want to see what's in? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Tortillas. It's tortillas. Wow. Well, I mean, I wouldn't recommend eating your sleeping bag, but if your sleeping bag looks like this filled with meat and cheese, I would definitely wholeheartedly tell you, take a bite. That looks, oh, she's gonna take a bite now. You can okay. take a bite. You go ahead, you eat that. Okay. And I'll do the scripture. It's Philippians 2, seven through eight, and it says, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Mm -hmm. So when we think about that, I mean, Jesus came from heaven to earth. He took on the form of man, mm -hmm. showed us how God loves us very much, lived his life in such a way to help bridge people to God. And when he died on the cross, those sins, he paid for them so that we could be connected with God mm -hmm. and have a relationship. So here we see in this scripture, Jesus is not selfish, mm -mm. right? He doesn't think about himself. He's always thinking about you. And he is always going to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. He is never going to change. And whenever he does anything, it's always with you in mind. So you know it's the best thing for you. Yes. So you can totally trust Jesus. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I'm kind of hungry. Me too. I'm kind of hungry. You want to go take these? Maybe there's some meat and cheese in the kitchen Ooh, and we could go make a sleeping tacos. bag with some meat and cheese. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Bye. 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 
Well, hello everyone out there in TV land. Welcome to our exciting finale episode of Girl vs. Boy. In this game, each week our contestants will face off in an exciting challenge. And based on how well they do, I reward their team points. Now as a reminder, the boys are losing unfortunately. They have 8 points, the girls have 20 points. But today in our finale, it's anything goes because it's a high points game we're going to play. Are you excited? Well, please welcome our guests, Michelle and Steven. Today's game is called Punch That Cup. And how it's played is, you're going to punch the cup. And that number that you'll pull out will be the points for your team. It's as simple as that. Well, let's decide who's going to go first. Uh, Steven, spin that wheel. All right. You got a six. Okay, Steven, that was a good spin, Michelle. Let's see if you can beat a six. Spin that wheel. You have a six. It's a tie. So, how we do it here at uh, Girl versus Boy is ladies first. So Michelle, you'll be going first. As a reminder, um, the boys are losing 8 to 20, but these are this is a high points game, so anyone can win today. You still have a shot, Stephen. And also, when we get to the last two cups, let's not punch. We're going to stop there. We have something different to do when we play those last two cups. But Michelle, Let's play girl versus boy. Punch that cup. All right. Good job. She chose a red. And what is the number? Two, Two thousand. thousand. Wow. Two thousand points for the girls. But hey, Stephen, plenty of points left out there. Punch that cup. He goes for the blue. Eight hundred points. Okay, 800 points, that's okay. It's That was just the first round, and here comes round two. Nichelle, are you ready? I'm ready. Punch that cup! All right, let's see what Nichelle's gonna get. She gets 600! Whoa! Steven, punch that cup! This is exciting. These are really high points. Let's see what Steven's gonna get. Whoa, 1500! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Michelle, punch that cup. That was a nice punch, my goodness. Whoa, a thousand. And one more in this round, Steven. Punch that cup. Wow, he meant that one, my goodness. Must be a martial artist. Anything in there? I hope so. <laughs> 900! Okay, now we're down to our... Wait, we're not. We're down to our last three. Last three, but then that would be... <laughs> you decide. Hmm. Yeah. Well, do, do, do. well, let's do... Well, you punch... I'm going to divide the, the points in this next cup, okay. just to make it Here fair. There you go, Michelle. Punch that cup. So I'm going to give you each 200 points. Now we're down to the final two cups. Right. And here's what we're going to do. Just to make it interesting, or maybe you won't find it interesting, but here's the rules. You're going to punch that cup and give me the number without looking at it. Okay. And then I am going to give you a number. It could be the actual number that is written on the paper, or it could be a number that I'm making up. You have to decide whether I'm telling the truth or liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay? If you guess correctly whether I'm telling the truth or whether I was trying to trick you, I'm going to double the points on that piece of paper. Okay? So, Stephen, are you ready? Here's the final round of Punch That Cup. Stephen, punch that cup! Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, Stephen. <clears throat> it's 700. Am I telling the truth or is it liar, liar, pants on fire? I think he's telling the truth. Well, because you guessed correctly I'm telling the truth, you get... Oh, yeah. 1,600, oh, 1,400 points, 1,600 points. 1,400 points. <laughs> ah. Okay, Michelle, last one, punch that cup. Michelle, you have 500 points. Okay, Mr. Bell, because you're such a great guy, I'm gonna guess that you're telling the truth. You guessed correctly, 500 points. That's a hey. thousand points for the girls. Now, I don't have a calculator, but these are easy numbers to add yes. up, but I didn't expect to do math during the show, but that's okay, let's see. But look at this. <laughs> this is perfect for our finale. It's a tie score, 4,800 to 4,800. Wow, that means, guess what? You both win. Because when it comes to girls versus boys, you know what? We are no respecter of persons here, so you all win. Now, of course, the trick in that last round there, you was you had to trust me. And I want to remind you all out there in TV land that the one person you can always trust is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow, what an exciting finale. Everyone's a winner today. Congratulations, so long from girl versus boy. Don't forget to keep watching Cornerstone Kids videos. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. That was a great finale of girls versus boys game. It all came down to trusting Mr. Bill. Would you be able to trust him? I mean, he was honest throughout the entire challenges, and he did take that pie in the face for a punishment. But did we know, did we really know that if the games are rigged or not? We didn't know. So it's kind of hard to trust people because some people are dishonest or selfish or they change their mind a lot. So let's think about some people that knew Jesus but didn't really trust him. So Peter, Peter didn't really trust God and he denied him, denied that he even knew Jesus. What? And then we have Thomas. Thomas didn't trust Jesus and he doubted the disciples when the disciples were running to him telling him that Jesus was a lie. We can't forget about Mary Magdalene. She doubted that Jesus was alive and she thought that Jesus was the gardener when she saw him. But the awesome thing about these people is that their faith became stronger than their doubt. They got to see Jesus with their eyes. Peter, Thomas, and Mary Magdalene served Jesus and told people about him for the rest of their lives. Now, I know it's hard when we have doubts about Jesus because we can't really see him, but we can use our knowledge in Jesus' characters, truthfulness, and our faith to believe in him. Now, let's read a verse from Psalms 20, chapter seven. It says, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. There's a lot of things that we choose to trust. Sometimes we choose to trust what others think, or we trust in stuff, but those things let us down. Jesus does not let us down. And we can always trust him because he's truthful, and he does not change, and he knows what's best for us. So with all of this said, let's, Pray so we can open our hearts and have faith in Jesus.
So let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Father, thank you. Thank you for being such an amazing God, Lord. I just pray right now that we just continue to open our hearts, Lord, when things get hard, when we have doubts about you being next to us, Lord. Just calm our hearts, Lord, and just help us to know that you are always by our side, Lord, and that you never forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Did you know that you can trust Jesus? Yes, Jesus is trustworthy and we can trust him no matter what, anytime and always. It's great to know we have a friend like Jesus that we can always depend on. Well, as you know, this is the last lesson of our Did You Know series. And you know what that means? Yes, next week we will begin a new series and I'm so excited to deliver this Unfortunately, I'll have to wait until next week to deliver this message, but I hope you, you will join us next week for our brand new series. Until next time, bye!